Hey there everybody, this is Shenigo, welcome back to more Sonic Generations! In the uh, last part, we defeated the Death Egg Robot, we also defeated Metal Sonic. We got two Chaos Emeralds, which is pretty great. Uh, we also unlocked this Atlari here. Uh, this is uh, known as the Dreamcast era, even though one of the levels is not really in the Dreamcast game. Fortunately, in my opinion, they actually picked the uh, best three levels out of the game. Well, maybe. The first two, yeah, I don't know about the third one. We'll get to that when we get there. Anyway, this stage, this stage. My favourite stage of Sonic Adventure. I believe I may have said that in my uh, playthrough of that. Now this, it's Speed Highway, and we get to do it with Classic Sonic. Oh no, um, off screen I actually uh, equip some stuff. And I have the uh, shield item, the shield item. So I can show it off now. Uh, basically, all it does is just a normal shield that catch from the one hit. Pretty great. Uh, it looks like the water shield animation, in case you've not seen the water shield challenge. Oh, yeah, it protects from a hit, and unlike most of the other shields, you actually get two of these uh, to use at any time with the Y button. Uh, be careful here, yeah, you're gonna get spiked. I just lost my shield. If I feel like it, I can actually get it back. You hit that switch, and then run in here, you do this looking thing, and you get a red star ring out of it, I believe. I'll just grab all these rings. There's actually a lot of shortcuts you can get through here with uh, a certain shield, but we'll not we're not getting to that until uh, much later. And those guys will uh, zap you. And if you can get into that glass wall, there's another red star ring, which you can just see like the but that the way you get it is to break the glass. So. And the game says press B there, you can just do the spin dash. Uh, you can actually cancel the spin dash by uh, doing a jump. But in case you didn't know that, ouch, uh, pressing B, you can actually duck with that as well. You can also duck with down. Ring this bell, you can get some rings. Something to do when you're waiting for this platform here. Pretty great. Oh, and there's a problem though with that spring sometimes. Sometimes the spring does not want you to go the direction you want to go. And so, yeah, took some stupid damage there. Well, I'm just being horribly, horribly twitchy with the uh, control scheme here. I'm not usually this twitchy, but platforming, platforming, no! Can I shoot platforming skills? Oh, there by lack of them. Should be doing better, I should be able to go by now. No, seriously, I should be able to go now. I've actually had faster run throughs of this level. I'm personally blaming the, the uh, LP cast for this. Right, yeah, not joking. LP cast. That's all the LP cast is for. Also, I do like how the uh, stage actually looks in both classic and modern. I thought you can jump those to get the uh, red staring, but you can actually get it from there. Uh, from this checkpoint, you also get that checkpoint, and I'm just being stupid and just jumping over the red star ring. Ah. Even though I'm not really carrying much for them, or I shouldn't be carrying much for them. Careful here because uh, you may fall down. And these platforms remind me of the platforms in Scrap Brain Zone where they just like move and then eventually uh, turn around and then cause bad things to happen. 
Nobody really has the hand now, anyway. Jump on the left and then get up raw. Put you here as a guinea pig. Goring is just over there. You can either get this red star and go this way and get the ring, or you could drop down there, and grab the zip line, which I believe is quicker. But that's probably just me. Well, a B. Like I said, can do better. Uh, probably my falling, falling around at that platform section probably didn't help. Go figure! So yeah, we get some artworks. Also we get some music. No. Most of the artworks. Time to switch to Monsite to do his speed highway. Which actually is more reminiscent to uh, the actual speed highway stage from Psycho Adventure. Uh, also, it's the first time you see the light speed dash. Uh, you're not seeing a tutorial because I'll be using it anywhere in the level. Uh, the route I go, I nearly always need to use it. And blast! No! Ah, well. Uh, there's actually the helicopter at the start, you can actually grab that helicopter and it's a big big shot but just so you just so you know. And you can actually just speed through this and it's pretty great. Up until light and off. Uh, I believe it's actually around here where you need the uh, light speed dash. See these glowing rings here? Done. You press Y in them and you do light speed dash. Uh, that's all that is obtained from said light speed dash. It may f it may open shortcuts, but uh, not really that great. It's also probably easier and faster to go the, uh, the right hand route. But I like doing of this route because well before I mess up and do that I don't really care because I don't care I don't really care about perfect in these I actually I believe I've shown the trick where you can actually um, what is it you can reset the uh, level and still get your ass right and just through here because here's the going down part. There's a red star ring around here which is really hard to mess. Oh, it's pretty difficult to get, you can actually see it. Uh, you need to use quick start to avoid the metal platform to the is going to take care of it. Probably saw the red star ring uh, slightly on the uh, right hand side though. There's also a red star ring you need to get for an achievement and I make sure that I can look to be uh, confident in how I can get it. And I'm not sure for these blocks because uh, they like to fall down under your feet. Alright, around here there is this ramp. Look this ramp. Paul finish this ramp anyway. So yeah, boost into this ramp, you get a, if you get into here, and eventually if you do everything right you will cut you'll take most of this launch out and uh, I'm going around in circles here just so you know. It's First thing that leads around in circles, it's a big shotgun if you can get it right. Uh, ah, just a lot. And eventually you'll be led over here where the red star ring is. And you grab this red star ring, carry on here. Uh, 
And I believe this should be right at the end. Yeah, you're right at the end. When you get to the top screw though, you're right at the end. Well, yeah, once you beat the level, you should get the uh, achievement. I forget what the name of the achievement is, but it'll probably be up on an annotation. Oh well, yeah, that's how you get it. And so we actually have beaten Speed Highway. Well, we're at both characters, which is pretty great. And who is it? Who is it? Will that? Well, we'll find out in a minute. It's cream, mm. but um, why cream is in Speed Highway when she was not in Sonic Adventure? Well, technically she was. Uh, if you remember my playthrough with Sonic Adventure DX, uh, I actually showed off cameos where cream was flying around. Um, also, I believe when um, the game was released, the Sonic Adventure DX was released, was about the time when. Oh, okay. I'm on hills on. That's pretty great. Um, it was about the time when Sonic, Sonic Advance 2 was out, which was actually Cream's first game. But anyway, in the uh, next part, we're going to probably the best three level in the game, and well, probably the best that level from Sonic Adventure. Um, not Sonic Adventure. Sonic Adventure 2. You're an idiot, Shadow. But yeah, we're doing that in the next part. Jeez, try hard, I believe. Yeah. Mr. Sonic! <laughs>